I'm here with uh, Stuart Kellogg. He's the Managing Director of Label Appeal and you've launched some labels specifically at this show. Can you show me some of the examples that you've yeah, got? Yeah, certainly. Uh, there's, what we've decided to do is to take a look at these labels and, and try and show off some of the different finishes that we can achieve um, in a simplistic way and, and in a way that people would find attractive. So we designed these labels specifically for the show so people can see, see what we're trying to okay, do. Okay, what's that top one? So the top one we've got here, this is a Peel and Reveal label, and we've done this using our digital press, our uh, HP um, WS6000 uh, printing press, which means that we can put variable messages on, the, on, on either side. So we can put variable messages both on the face and underneath. Uh, just to, trying to get people to... Um, interact with the label and interact with the packaging as much as possible. And you've used a great example haven't you with the the um, Love Hearts? The Love Hearts absolutely yeah. yeah with a message you know and the idea was to try and relate all of these labels back to the sweets and the idea is to create us our own little sweet shop here. So yeah the Love Hearts with their own messages we thought it worked quite well from Cool. What else have you got? We've got a we've got a scratch off label here so this label um, has is printed underneath okay and then on the face we have uh, a uh, an ink which is scratch offable uh, people have seen these on vouchers and you yeah. know, game cards and yeah. stuff like that exactly the same sort of thing and we're now converting that over onto the label you tie that in with variable print maybe on the underside something of that nature then you have an exceptionally good label which which people can again interact with in, in, in quite a strong way and makes a lot of, uh, ties in well with the brand and gives a lot of uh, um, uh, brand memorability. Sure, okay. But that's not all you've got. No, no, no. We've got lots of different finishes going on. So we've got here, we've got what we call a fluted die, which is a die which is uh, on several different levels. So we're getting different different feels and textures going on through the paper. A very straightforward paper, which is then created, made into lots of different uh, uh, tactile finishes using different, different heights of die. Well, it's definitely a trend at the moment for luxury packaging as well, and this kind of fits the bill. Absolutely. We're certainly trying to work with... Um, brands that want to add value we're certainly trying to push push the boundaries in terms of what the consumer can expect to see on on on, on the branding and what what designers can hope to hope to achieve with branding yeah. and on, on that same vein the, the next label that you've got yep. kind of you've added some sort of sparkle to it again uh, it's that luxury absolutely yeah i mean it, I mean, a very simple screen printed label with some a bit of glitter varnish in there gives it a really nice look, gives it that appeal on the shelf, means that it just has that attractiveness. You know, it's it, it's not uh, it's not symmetrical, it's not it's not it's very uh, very variable in the way it goes down, but that gives it a real a real shimmer on the on the shelf. Okay, and. Uh you have the flying saucer, which the can't flying actually saucer. see. Because can't actually see. We, yep, a we UV need, light. You need yeah. a UV light for that. Um, you know, fantastic on back of bar uh, in those sort of applications where Perfect. you've got some yeah. UV lighting going on. You know, and it just just stands out uh, and just just picks up. Ideal for um, bottles in nightclubs and stuff like that, where you have got UV lighting going on and you want that secondary message coming through, sure. just to just to push things along a little bit. You yeah, know, just cool. push the brand a little bit harder. And yeah. finally. Uh, finally, um, uh, scratch and sniff. Yeah. Okay, it's been talked about by everybody. You know, and the the uh, you see it, so, see so little of it. You know, but we feel that you know the sense of smell. It's one of the senses that we need to be touching. We talked we talked about sort of the tactile feel of some of these labels, and you know, you're using the sense of smell to also push the brand. Great. If you the can whole find a way to do it. Experience. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And, Absolutely. and I, I can attest to this. I've tried it and it smells like chocolate limes. It does smell great. like chocolate limes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic. Stuart, thanks very much for joining me no today. No problem. Thank That's you. great. Thanks for downloading this foodbev.com podcast. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Vimeo, Google Plus, and LinkedIn.